America's railroads when they're blanketed by massive snowfalls. The rotary snowplow stands a spine shivering 16 foot 6 inches tall, takes up 48 feet of track, and weighs a snow stomp in Arizona Nevada mountains. This is hands down the biggest stick in the railroad's bag. In fact, this machine is so capable at carving a path through the white stuff that the railroads don't bother using it for ordinary snowfalls. Nope, this beast only sees service roughly once a decade. That's the typical time between blizzards big enough to bother getting this rotary all revved up. we brought the rotary out was 96 and 97. We'd had uh, over 500 inches up on top of the hill. When we averaged 450 on an average year. And we had a 12 and a half foot bank. So we brought the rotary out. And then the following day, we plowed from Emergen Gap to Truckee and cleared the railroad up. To put together a snow train, we will start with a rotary on each end. Against those rotaries, we will have a B unit or what some people call a slug. That's a locomotive that powers the blade itself. Then there's two locomotives in the middle, which are AC locomotives. The wings on the side, they're, they're developed to operate so we can cut a wider path. 
And so we can shoot that wing out there and actually give us another foot. So that's why the wings are so important to us, is to, is to just make our path wider and it picks up more snow. Believe it or not, rotary snow plows are not modern inventions. This once steam-powered machine was actually built back in 1937. But while converted to diesel-driven electric in 1957, it still uses these boiling hot vapors to keep this snow-blowing operation on track. The thing we use the steam for is to keep the windows clean, to keep the joints for the wings working, and of course we still have the steam whistle, which everybody loves. But that's what keeps everything working and operating so it doesn't freeze up on us. Well, I guess you could compare it to a dragon as the steam comes out and as it hisses at you and it looks like it's alive and breathing when we have it fired up and, and actually operating. 